Hi, I'm David Wright, and welcome back. On today's adventure, I wanted to share with you a quick and easy method to stretch and secure canvas. In this video, we are going to cover the first five steps in the right 10 step formula that I use in stretching a canvas. Enjoy watching this video, and I'll see you back here next time as our adventure continues. Let's take the first step in our adventure by going to davidwright.com. Now, let's go to the tutorials tab and pull up the free Stretch and Canvas tutorial. In this section, you can follow right along with us as we will be using these same steps. In my book, You Can Paint Portraits, Oil Painting Mastery in Classical Style, I express the importance in making our canvas ready for our masterpieces, which include stretching and priming the canvas. Come along and learn how to prepare our canvas and make it ready for our artwork. Be sure to join the right family so that you can start in a creative adventure with us today. The second step on our adventure leads us to the buttons that need a pressing. So firmly press that like and subscribe button and loudly ring that bell. And remember to leave a positive comment. Step three, enjoy the video. and friends. We'll set ablaze the ocean on fire by sailing on the Phoenix fire. Prepare you twerk. Stretch you must. Where you don't. Before you twerk. You're only preparing to crack and burst. We have not a cracker you see. And into flames we unite. And the sea is always right. Upon the sea of certainty that carries us free. Stretching good and right. Drink up me arties. Yo ho ho. Oh it's a creator's life for me. There she goes. The Phoenix fire. Show me how it's done! Yeah! Alright now, let's get the tools. Step 1. The right tools. It is important to have the right tool for the right job. These materials are needed for stretching the canvas. Rubber mallet, stretching pliers, scissors, staple gun, staples, staple puller, framing square, stretcher bars, 24 by 36, canvas material, Moving on to step two. Step two, the preparation of stretcher bars. Next, let's get the bars ready. We do not have to prepare the bars you see here because they were purchased pre-cut with a tongue and groove joint. Here we will just slip the tongue and groove together by sliding the 24 inch bars into both of the 36 inch bars. Repeat for the other side. If you would like to see a video on how to make your own stretcher bars, be sure to comment down below or send an email request. Slide both 24 inch bars into the 36 inch bars at the same time. Be sure to like, don't forget to subscribe, ring your bells. Once you have all four bars in place, let's check the corners, making sure that they are at a 90 degree angle on all sides. 
If they are off a bit, use the mallet to readjust them to a 90 degree angle. If you readjust a corner, you need to check all four corners again. This is because by readjusting a corner, another side may become out of alignment. Step 3. The Layout Place canvas down on a flat surface, then place the stretcher bars on top of the canvas. Step 4. The Canvas Measurement Measuring will vary depending on the size of the stretcher bars. Here these bars are about 3 quarters of an inch. Take your time and measure out about 1 and a half inches from the frame on all sides. Using a pencil, mark the edges of the frame, then measure out the distance from the frame and place a mark all the way around the frame. Be sure to like, subscribe, and get notified. After marking your corners, use a straight edge to mark lines for cutting. This should give you enough canvas material to grip, stretch, and staple over the bars to make it easier for the next step. Step 5. The Cutting of the Canvas
After measuring and marking out the distance from the bars, work your way around the pencil lines cutting neatly while trimming off the excess canvas. This concludes the beginning five steps on stretching the canvas. Be sure to join us next time as we wrap up the canvas stretching. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, take care and be safe.